Hey everybody, I'm back. Did you miss me? I doubt it, but I'm back. I just uploaded the uh, apartment tour video of our new apartment, and yes, it's not ready to go yet. They wanted us to come in there and look at it and uh, make sure it was the apartment that we wanted because we didn't actually get to see it yet. So this was the first time we got to actually walk in there and see it and see if we wanted any accent walls. I was like, no, no accent walls. If I want to paint an accent wall, I'll paint it myself. Which a lot of apartment complexes say no to that. That uh, the place that we're moving was perfectly fine as long as it's painted nice and painted back when we when you move out. We're not planning on moving out of that place. We got lucky as hell to find that apartment. So I was sitting here watching the Tim Pool podcast, and he's at Turning Point USA here in Arizona. And I wanted to go to this so bad, but we need to save every nickel and dime that we have to be able to afford this move. Because for whatever reason, the donations to my GoFundMe have stopped. I haven't gotten a donation for three weeks, not even on my birthday or anything. And yes, I'm 49 years old now. And so I was doing other stuff and I came in and I'm like, oh, this is over. I'm going to watch it. So I watched it and I will put the link to this article on X and Tim's, uh, podcast because you need to go watch both because I'm not going to play all this through but James was talking about how messed up IBM is and how they have their 10 commandments can you guess what one of the 10 commandments are it's against people that are my color because you know it's bad to be my color it's really bad to be a person like me a husband, a father, a grandfather, a patriot, a constitutionalist, white. Yeah. Maybe that's why my channel isn't growing as good as somebody with turquoise or green hair. So listen to what this dude says. Because this dude right up here in the top above this woman, he's the head dude at IBM. And oh my God. So we take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. I'm not. All right. So what he said right there is if you hire a black or Hispanic woman, then you get a raise on your bonus. But if you have to uh, let a black or Hispanic woman go, then you get a decrease on your bonus. And that's why most of these companies are absolutely fucking wrong. Because, sir, I'm sure you would not be the head of IBM if you had to be hired right now. Because I'm sure the woman under you or if that woman under you was a black woman, that they get hired over you no matter if you knew how to do the job a hundred times better than the woman under you. And I know somebody's going to leave a stupid comment of like, well, we need, you know, to, to make sure that, you know, people of color and women are hired into the workforce. And I say, well, how about the people of color and the and women strive to uh, make themselves more hireable? My uh, wife can walk into any assisted living place in the whole Phoenix Valley and get a job, like, in a heartbeat. She gets offered jobs all the time. She got offered the job where she's at right right now. Because she knows how to do that job better than pretty much everybody else at her job. She doesn't show up late. She doesn't bitch. She doesn't complain. If they ask her to work late, 
she works late. If they call her on one of her very, very, very few days off, she jumps in the car whoop, right to work. Because she uh, knows that she doesn't show up and do that job. That the people that are that are at that assisted living place aren't getting taken care of. So, uh, I will link all this stuff in the description. And uh, please go watch all this stuff. And thanks for watching.